Howdy shipmates, it's Captain Dan here. Welcome to Storytime with Captain Dan. A time to tell tales old and new for young and old. A time to lift our spirits in these time of trouble. Welcome my friends, welcome. And I've been asking for requests and tales to tell and I got a little request actually. It was given to me in the park the other day. It was a lovely little card with some gifts of some stories to share. And there's the card. It says, thank you. Can you see it? Isn't that lovely? And it says here to Captain Dan, thank you for reading to us. Love from Olivia and Maven. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Lifts your spirits, doesn't it? And they gave me some lovely tales to tell by Julia Donaldson. And I'm going to share one today, which is by Julia Donaldson and, and illustrated by Rebecca Cobb. And this is The Paper Dolls. So this is especially for Olivia and Maeva from Camda. Enjoy. The Paper Dolls. There was once a girl who had tiger slippers and a ceiling with stars on and a butterfly hair slide which she kept on losing and two goldfish. Look at that. And a nice mother who helped her to make some paper dolls. They were ticky and tacky and jacky and Backy, and Jim with two noses, and Joe with a bow. And they danced, and they jumped, and they sang. And they met a dinosaur who clawed and roared and said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. But the paper doll sang. You can't get us, oh no, 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 no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're ticky and tacky and jacky and backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with a bow. And they jumped onto a bus. And they rode to a farmyard and danced with the pigs. And they lay on a rooftop and stared at the stars till a tiger slunk out of his den and he crouched and he snarled and he said, I'll leap up and catch you. But the paper doll sang. You can't catch us, oh no, 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 no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're ticky and tacky and jacky and backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with a bow. And they floated. You see them floating? They floated. And they floated down the stairs and they danced round the honeypot and they kicked crumbs and explored an island. Till a fierce crocodile grinned his grin and gnashed his teeth and said, I'm coming to crunch you. But the paper dolls laughed and sang. You can't crunch us. Oh, no, 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 no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're ticky and tacky and Jackie and Backy, and Jim with two noses, and Joe with a bow, and they hopped like a great big frog, and they hopped into the garden, and they sniffed the flowers, and they chattered to a ladybird, and lay down in a forest of grass. But along came a boy with a pair of scissors and he said, I'll snip you. 
and he did. He snipped them into tiny little pieces and he said, you're gone forever. You're gone forever. But the paper doll sang, we're not gone, oh no, 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 no. We're holding hands and we won't let go. We're Ticky and Tacky and Jackie and Backy and Jim with two noses and Joe with a bow. And the pieces all joined together and the paper dolls flew. Look at that. They flew. They flew. And they flew into the little girl's memory where they found white nice mice and fireworks and a starfish soup. Soap even, a starfish soap. Maybe soup would be better, what do you think? No, soap's better, isn't it? Silly Captain Dan. And a kind granny and the butterfly hair slide and more and more lovely things each day and each year. Found them. And the girl grew and grew and grew and she grew into a mother herself who helped her own little girl make some paper dolls. They were Poppy and Pinky and Binky and Blinky and Fred with one eyebrow and Flo with the bow. And they jumped and they danced and they sang. So that's the story of The Paper Dolls by Julia Donaldson and Rebecca Cobb. And it's especially for my great fans, Olivia and Maeve Ann. So thank you for this and for your other tales and for your encouragement. It means the world to good old Captain Dan. But that's the end of story time for today with Captain Dan. So I'm going to wish you all a good night. And you know how to do that, don't you? Do you? I think you do by now. You should, you know. You should. You really should. So join in. Maybe you can lead. Good night. Good night. Oh, sweet repose. Don't lie on your belly. Because you might just squash your news. Good night. <laughs>